This is the lab for 242 Pascal I model. You're going to need a Pascal I model, assorted lenses, we have them marked so that they're easier to see in this video, a pupil, a retina screen, an asymmetrical drawing, and one to two liters of water. Do not fill the eye model with water yet. Put the retina screen in the middle slot marked normal in the posterior portion of the eye. Put the plus 400 millimeter lens in the slot labeled septum in the anterior portion of the eye. Place your hand in front of the eye model about 50 centimeters from the cornea. Use a light source, we used a phone flashlight to brightly illuminate your hand. Move your hand up, down, left, and right. Use an asymmetrical picture on an index card and hold it in front of the eye. Describe what you see on the data sheet. Like the hand, move the image up, down, left, and right. Leave the retina screen in the slot labeled normal. Put the 62 millimeter lens in the septum slot in the anterior portion of the eye. Carefully fill the eye model with water to within one to two centimeters from the top. Position the eye to look at a nearby light source. Use the picture you drew. Adjust the position of the eye model and your object until the image is in focus. One partner should hold the object and light source at a constant distance while the other adjusts the eye. Pull the picture back to simulate a distant object. Remember, the lens in the human eye with the help of ciliary muscles can change shape to correctly focus light on the retina when looking at near or far objects. The lens in the eye model does not have the ability, so you will need to simulate this accommodation by changing the lens or adjusting the retinal screen. Adjust the retinal screen to the other two positions and see if this changes the image. The lens can be replaced with different lenses to accommodate or focus the eye model at different distances. We will now try different lenses in place of the 62 millimeter lens and note if there is a lens that makes the image clearer. Focus the eye back on the near object with the 62 millimeter lens in place. Now let's explore what it means to be farsighted. A person affected by farsightedness or hyperopia has a shorter than normal eyeball, making the retina too close to the lens system. This causes the image to be focused behind the retina. Move the retina screen to the forward slot labeled far. What happens to the image? This is what a far-sighted person sees when trying to look at a near object. Decrease the pupil size by placing the round pupil in slot A on the anterior portion of the eye. Remove the pupil. Now let's take a look at what a far-sighted person sees when they view a faraway object. Return the eye model to look at a nearby source. Now correct the hyperopia by putting eyeglasses on your model. Find a lens that brings the image into focus when you place it in front of the eye in slot 1. Record the focal length of the lens that works best.
set the eye model to normal. With the eye model looking at the nearby light source, using the picture you used in part 2, adjust the eye source distance so the image is in focus. Now let's explore what it means to be nearsighted. Move the retina screen to the back slot labeled near. What happens to the image? A person affected by nearsightedness or myopia has a longer than normal eyeball, making the retina too far away from the lens system. This causes the image to be focused in front of the retina. Move the image back to simulate a distant object. What do you notice about the image? This is what a nearsighted person sees when they look at a far away object. Return the eye model to look at a nearby source. Try to correct myopia by putting glasses on the model. Find a lens that brings the image into focus when you place it in front of the eye in slot 1. Record the focal length of the lens that works best.